Get this, in April of 2023, a Vietnamese hacker group exploited Facebook's ad system and infected half a million users with malware. Half a million. That's that's not just an inconvenience, that is a huge wake-up call. So if you're suddenly seeing some weird activity on your profile, you can't log in or your friends are texting you like, uh, did you just send me this sketchy messenger link? Well, you might be one of them, but don't worry, I've got you. Welcome to this week's Rocky Mountain Marketing Quickcast. This is your go-to source for actionable advice and the latest news in social media and digital marketing. Every Thursday in just 8 to 12 minutes, I'm going to be delivering quick to impactful tips to help you stay ahead in the fast-paced digital landscape. I'm your host, Katie Brinkley. Let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back to this week's QuickCast episode. And today we're going to be talking about something that I hope you never, ever have to deal with. But let's be honest, many of us will. So what happens if your Facebook account gets hacked? And I'm not talking about just forgetting your password after a long vacation. I mean, full on Someone's impersonating you, posting weird stuff, asking people if they want to buy crypto or something, and maybe they're even running ads with your name on it, kind of hacked. Well, if you use Facebook for your business, and let's face it, a lot of us do, losing access could mean not only losing clients, but losing revenue, and most importantly, credibility. So today, I'm going to be walking you through exactly what to do step-by-step if your Facebook page gets compromised. This episode is actually going to be the first in a series on how to recover different social media accounts. And we're going to start with the OG. We're going to start with Facebook because it's still the wild west when it comes to hacks and impersonations. So if you still have access to your Facebook account and you're saying, well, Katie, none of this really matters to me. Well, I want you to do this anyways. Do this immediately because if you still have access, everything looks fine. This is the best case scenario. So if you're logged into your account, you need to act fast. Go in. I don't know when the last time it was that you've changed your password, but go in and change your password. On mobile, tap the menu. It's that little like hamburger icon. Go to the settings and privacy, password and security, and then hit change password. On desktop, it's the same deal. Go to settings and privacy, security and login, and then click change password. Create something strong. No pet names, no one, two, three combos. It's, you know, 2025 folks, you know better. Use a a good password. And then you're going to want to check to see where you are logged in. Look at the where you've logged in section. If you see something fishy, like a login from Brazil when you live in Boulder, tap secure account on mobile or log out of all sessions. And then last but not least, in that same menu, scroll down to get help. If you think that your account was hacked, follow the prompts there. Do not skip this part. It flags your account for review and helps Facebook track patterns from bad actors. That's if you still have access to your account. Now, for those of you that are already in this position. You've lost access to your account. You're locked out. It is game time. It is go time. So if you are in the not so lucky crowd, the people who can't get back in, this happens when a hacker gets in, it changes your email, they change your phone number, and then they lock you out. Here's what to do. So you're going to check all of your devices. Open Facebook on your phone, tablet, laptop, anything that you have logged into Facebook before. If you're still logged in on one of them, breathe. Breathe a sigh of relief. You can start the recovery from there. This is where you'll go into facebook.com slash login slash identify. And this is Facebook's recovery portal. Enter in your original email, your phone number, or even your name. If your account pops up, try to reset your password. If the hacker has changed the contact info, hit no longer have access to the, any of these. You'll then go to facebook.com slash hacked and you'll select my account is compromised. Enter in your old password and follow the secure recovery flow. At some point, Facebook might ask for a photo ID to verify who you are. Yep, it is a process, folks, but do it. <laughs> and then once you're in, woohoo, clean house. You change the email, change the phone number, change the password, set up 
two-factor authentication with an authenticator app, not just text messages. Those can be intercepted now. And also double check where you're logged in and remove anything unfamiliar. This is where it's really good to use a third-party software. Um, I use LastPass. One password is a great password recovery tool. But again, just like you know, Facebook, anything can be hacked. Make sure you're keeping track of where all of your passwords are stored. And it's not just on a Google sheet or you know, sticky note that could be lost. And so you might say, okay, well, what, what's happening to me is, is not this. Um, someone's actually impersonating me. So you might still have access, but now there's also a fake version of you. And this has happened to me before. So this fake version is sending friend requests and asking your clients for crypto. Yep, that seems to be the go-to. What you're going to do is report them and get as many people in your network to report that profile. A lot of times the impersonator will block your profile so you can't see that they are impersonating you. If that's the case, again, reach out to your friends, your family, and ask them to report that profile. And here's a tip. The more reports that Facebook gets, the faster it acts, the faster that fake page will be taken down. If you can go in and actually see the, the fake impersonator account, um, the ones that's sending the friend requests, you can click on the three dots underneath their cover photo and then click report and then pretending to be me. So now that we've kind of talked about how to recover your account, how can we make sure that this never happens again? Like I said before, use a password manager. I use LastPass. You can use 1Password. There's so many out there, but use a password manager. No, don't repeat the password across multiple accounts. You know, uh, you know, no, no pet names. Make sure that each account that you are logged into has a unique password. And you're going to want to set up two-factor authentication with an app like Google Authenticator. Uh, remove all old payment methods. Disconnect any third-party apps that you're not using. So if you go into your settings, you can see like, oh, well, I gave access to DoorDash, my Facebook account to DoorDash, but I don't even use DoorDash anymore. You know, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Go ahead and remove any third-party apps that you're not using anymore. Make sure that you have your login alerts turned to on. This is a very simple way to be like, hey, wait a second, I'm not logging into Facebook right now and I'm getting a notification. Turn your notifications on for any login attempts. And then do the full privacy checkup that Facebook offers. It's it's worth it. Just spend some time in your privacy settings on Facebook to make sure that everything is the way that it should be. And consider using a VPN. VPNs are a great way to secure all of your data and all of your access. If you're running your business from your phone or your laptop, I use ExpressVPN. I really like it. I've used them for the past, man, I want to say maybe five years. All right, so to recap... If you're still logged in, go in, change that password, check your logins, and if you've already been hacked, uh, report it. But if you haven't been hacked yet, don't worry about reporting it. But go in, change your passwords, make it something unique. If you are locked out of your account and somebody has hacked your account, go through Facebook's recovery flow and be persistent. Protect yourself now with those passwords, two-factor authentication, and better privacy settings. If you want a checklist of everything we talked about today, head on over, go to nextstepsocial.agency slash Facebook recovery, and you can check out all of this. I have a full list on how you can recover your account there. If this episode helped you, just please be sure to share it with a friend or a colleague. You never know who's already been hacked and too embarrassed to say it out loud. All right, until then, stay safe, stay smart, and keep showing up like the powerhouse entrepreneur that you are. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. I hope you're leaving with valuable insights and the inspiration to lead your market. If you've enjoyed our time together and found today's podcast episode useful, I have a small favor to ask of you. Please hit that subscribe button to stay updated with the latest episodes. And if you know someone who could benefit from these episodes, maybe a fellow business leader or an aspiring entrepreneur, go ahead and share this episode with them. Let's spread the knowledge and grow together. Also, I'd love to hear from you and continue the conversation beyond the podcast. Visit me at katiebrinkley.com to connect, to find more resources, or just to share your journey. And be sure to pick up your copy of my new book, The Social Shift at katiebrinkley.com book. 
Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Katie Brinkley, and I can't wait to dive into more strategies and stories with you on the next episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. Let's keep on taking your marketing to new heights.